लोगों की शख्सियात के अंदर क्या तब्दीलियां देखना चाहते हैं ये इंपॉर्टेंट सवाल है एक बहुत बड़ा सवाल है प्रोबेबली दीज दीज क्वेश्चन वुड बी देयर इन द माइंड ऑफ द पॉलिसी मेकर मे बी दे वुड हैव थॉट अबाउट ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे वुड हैव थिंकिंग अफ्रेश ऑफ हाईलाइटिंग द पर्टिकुलर रेस्पेक्ट ऑफ होलिस्टिक एजुकेशन डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट एजुकेशन इज ऑलवेज होलिस्टिक तालीम हमेशा ही होलिस्टिक होता है सर्वांगीण विकास बच्चों का लर्नर का सीखने वालों का तलबा का विद्यार्थियों का ये मकसद है तालीम का एजुकेशन का हमेशा से रहा है लेकिन शायद ये मकसद पूरा नहीं हो पा रहा था ये रोल शायद एजुकेशन प्ले नहीं कर पा रहा होगा जो अपेक्षाएं थी शायद वो पूरी नहीं हो पा रही थी एग्जिस्टिंग एजुकेशन सिस्टम से और इसीलिए शायद पॉलिसी मेकर्स ने सोचा कि हमें इस पर फोकस करने की जरूरत है जो बात अनरिटर्न फॉर्म में है उसे हमें रिटर्न फॉर्म में लाना होगा तो होलिस्टिक एजुकेशन हमेशा रहा लेकिन वो अनरिटर्न फॉर्म में था नतीजा बहुत अच्छा नहीं था शायद और इसलिए उस पर फोकस की जरूरत थी अटेंशन की जरूरत थी तवज्जो की जरूरत थी और इसलिए शायद पूरी की पूरी पॉलिसी डॉक्यूमेंट में इसको एक स्पेशल मकाम मिला एक खास चैप्टर मिला और एक खास चैप्टर के अंदर चैप्टर 11 के अंदर पूरा का पूरा फोकस है कि हमारी तालीम हमारे तालीम का जो निज़ाम हो शिक्षा का जो तंत्र हो वो ऐसा हो जो होलिस्टिक हो और और मल्टी डिसिप्लिन हो आई एम नॉन टू शेयर माई प्रेजेंटेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ विच आई वुड लाइक टू पुट सम मोर लाइट ऑन दैट ओके सो लेट एस है a view of this particular slide is it visible to all can anyone tell me yes sir okay thank you so this is holistic and multidisciplinary education in the light of nep 2020 and and uh, uh, i am going to discuss and i have already started from that particular bhai, point bhai. from that particular point that is role of education and training in general what education should do for the society for the community for the nation for the individual what education should do what role we expect from education that is very important so i will be discussing about that and following that i will be discussing three different aspects of you know this particular topic holistic and multidisciplinary education the concept of holistic education concept of multidisciplinary education and the third most important aspect is women values ethics personality development and environmental education these three are the part of this particular chapter on holistic and multidisciplinary education in nep 2020 so now let's first talk about first think about try to analyze the whole scenario of education when we send our children to school to college to to universities any educational institution what we expect from the institution as a parent as a father as a mother as a guardian as a responsible citizen of this country as a responsible member of the society what we expect from education if we think about that you will come to the conclusion that four five important roles are there which are supposed to be played by any education system any education system and the first important is acculturating role education must refine perceptions and sensitivities so as to enrich our culture and promote national cohesion taleem ke liye taleem ke liye zaruri hai shiksha ka matlab hi yahi hai ki wo naujawano logon ko talib ilm ko shikshartiyon ke perception ko theek kare उसको रिफाइन करे एंड दे मस्ट बिकम सेंसिटिव टू इन विच देयर कल्चर वेन वी से इंडियन कल्चर 
एंड प्रमोट नेशनल कोहेशन राष्ट्रीय एकता को प्रमोट करने वाला बने यूनिटी इन डायवर्सिटी की बात बचपन से सुनते और बात करते आए हैं दी मस्ट प्रमोट दी मस्ट कंट्रीब्यूट दी मस्ट प्ले रोल टूवर्ड्स नेशनल कोहेशन दी मस्ट कंट्रीब्यूट टूवर्ड्स इन दिस मिट ऑफ आवर कल्चर इंडियन कल्चर इंडियन सिविलाइजेशन the core of the civilization the core of the indian culture is national cohesion this is a culturating role now try to scale measure and assess whether our education system has played played this role successfully or not i am not asking this question i am just requesting to analyze yourself and give response to yourself kya hamari taaleem hamara taaleemi nizam hamara hamari shiksha ka jo tantra hai chahe school education se leke higher education tak ki baat kare hum kya wo ek culturing role ko play kar pa raha hai sahi se kis had tak play kar pa raha hai nahi kar pa raha hai to kyon nahi kar pa raha hai kar pa raha hai to kis scale pe kar paya 10.9 point scale pe kahan dalenge aap isko 5 point scale iske scale pe measure karenge to ek culturing role ko kahan pe rakhenge aap वन पॉइंट देंगे टू पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट वॉट एवर नेशनल कोहेशन को अगर एसेस करें तो किस हद तक हम पाते हैं कि ईच पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया इज यू नो हैविंग कोहेसिव नेचर नॉर्थ इंडिया साउथ इंडिया ईस्ट इंडिया वेस्ट इंडिया north eastern part of the country people from different re religion and region are they really united are they have really national cohesion in them if not why if yes up to what extent whether we need to do something or not this is the big question mark then the second most important role is combative role our education system education of any country education of any nation must make its citizen able to fight against the destructive tendencies within the individual and destructive forces within the society because in each and every society and in and in, in each and every individual there are forces there are constructive forces there are also destructive forces there are also destructive tendencies within all of us to some extent education must help us to fight those destructive forces which are within ourselves and within the society within the environment like racism casteism regionalism communalism sectarianism etc there are so many isms up to what extent our education system prepare our young minds to fight these destructive forces fight these destructive tendencies which are prevailing around us up to what extent if our education system is successfully doing this task is successfully doing playing this role then of course we must be very happy that our education is good and doing whatever it is supposed to do but if you find that no there are some issues then we will have to bring some change some innovation in our education system so analyze yourself and the and respond to yourself third important role is liberating role education of any society any country must make its citizen the society able to liberate themselves from ignorance shiksha ka matlab hi yahi hai jo andhkar se prakash ki or le jaye andhere se ujala ki taraf le jaye la ilmi se ilm ki taraf le jaye andhvishwas se vishwas bhare mahol ki taraf le jaye aur logon ke sath jo operation hota hai logon ko sataya jata hai oppress kiya jata hai usse azad usse usse insaan ko bahar nikala jaye liberation this kind of liberation we must develop a system wherein 
individuals in the society at large, each and every citizen of the country must be educated. And if they are educated, they are basically liberated from ignorance. If they do not follow the superstitions which are prevailing in the country and different part of the world, and if you become a rationalized person, a person who think rationally, take decisions on the basis of logic and rational, this is what is required of education. No superstition, no operation. This kind of you know, role education must play. Then the fourth one is integrative role. Education must integrate each and every child, each and every individual with the society and the world. So education should be such which make individual integrative in nature. Jitna zada integration hoga, education rotne zada kame abo. Bacha, learner, individual, young ones. Jitna zada environment se, society se, community se, apne samaj se, apne mahol se integrate hoga, utna hi zada kame abhi ke chance uske bharte chale jate. Because that sort of individual will be highly aware about the needs of the society, the requirement of the society, needs of the present generation and needs of the future generation. And they will be in a position to integrate themselves with the changing scenario of the world. And this will lead him or her to the successful life, successful career. Probably in these days where the technology has been playing a very important role in technology ki wajay se, ICT ki wajay se, internet ki wajay se, social media ki wajay se, integration ta bahut zade ho raha hai. Thanks to the technology. Now the challenge is how to use it in a positive manner. This is a very important challenge now. And the last one, role of education in general is economic role. Economic role, enabling learners to be able to earn livelihood. Education must enable learners to be able to earn livelihood. Because we are in 21st century, ancient India, medieval India, ancient world, Nalanda Vishwedalia, Takshila Vishwedalia, Valley Dunya, Jahan Lok Padne Jate, Pesiv. पढ़ने के लिए जहां लोग तालीम हासिल करने जाते थे सिर्फ तालीम के लिए जहां लोग शिक्षा ग्रहण करने जाते थे सिर्फ एक बेहतर इंसान बनने के लिए कमाने के लिए नहीं जाते थे लाइवलीहुड अर्न करना पर्पस नहीं होता था उनका जाते भी थे बड़े-बड़े घर के लोग जमींदार और स्टेट के मालिक हैं ऐसे लोग बच्चों को भेजते थे पढ़ते भी थे वही सब्जेक्ट उसी तरह के विषय इन टुडे सिनेरियो in 21st century, the first most important aim of education is to make the individual employable. That's the bada maksad. Parent bhi sochta hai. Bacche ko kya banaye? Kya direction dein? Kis tarah guide kare? Kaun si taaleem dein? Kis tarah ka course karaye? Kis tarah ki professional or vocational degree dilwaye? Diploma dilwaye? Jisse ke jal se jal wo kamyab ho jaye aur job mein a jaye. Employability. So, if you see, the overall aims of education has now turned down. Reverse ho gaya order. Ancient time mein taaleem ka maqsad hi tha. Insaan ko pehle behtar banana hai. Jeevan ka rahas samjho, philosophy samjho. Aaj education pehle employability. फिर फिलॉसफी ऐसे हम जोड़ने लगे आज का मैटेरियलिस्टिक वर्ल्ड है गांधी जी ने इस बात को तभी समझ लिया था 1937 38 में व्हेन ही कॉल्ड एजुकेशनस ऑफ द कंट्री एट वारदा 
in Maharashtra, 1937, Vardha Conference on, edu on Basic Education. He invited all the educationists of the country of that time to come and meet together at Vardha to have a discussion on basic education, what should be the nature of our education, what should be the subjects of our education, what should be the objectives of our, our education, and that sort of education which can not only make an individual, the child, self-employable, but that sort of education which can help our country to be have to, to have freedom from the Britishers. Hamulko Azad bhi kara sake. Aisi education amari ho. Nationalism bhi aay, bachche ke andar, lander ke andar. Aur saath saath implability bhi paida ho. Ke khali peit na to ibadat hoti hai, na to puja paat hota hai, aur na to koi kisi aur chiz ke baare mein sochta hai. Bhukha peit bhajan bhi nahi hota. देश के लिए लड़ना है देश के लिए करना है देश के लिए मरना है कुछ करके गुजरना है तो जाहिर है एनर्जी चाहिए तवानाई चाहिए ऊर्जा चाहिए और जाएगी खाने पीने से इसलिए इंप्लायबिलिटी बहुत जरूरी है इसलिए गांधी जी ने 1937 में वर्दा कॉन्फ्रेंस में बुला करके सबसे कहा कि बेसिक एजुकेशन का मेरा आइडिया है कि हम प्राइमरी स्कूलों में भी इन अपर प्राइमरी स्कूल्स Students of class 3, 4, 5, 6, they should be taught some craft along with the science, social science, Hindi, Marathi, English, Urdu, whatever subjects are conventionally being taught to them along with those subjects, one or the other craft must be taught to the learners so that in case they left education, they drop out of the school, even then they should be in a position to stand on their feet and to earn their livelihood. Geetha Gandhi Ji Bhai. Unko apne pair pe khada honne ke laik banao. To aaj ka education bhi. Sab se bunyadi chiz ehi hai. Aur is liye Prime Minister Narendra Modi ne jo shuru kiya. Is ke liye India campaign. Purpose hi hai. Gandhi Ji ka jo objective hai. दरअसल ये ऑब्जेक्टिव वहीं से कहीं ना कहीं परकुलेट करता है वहीं से परकुलेट कर रहा है गांधी जी की फिलॉसफी से परकुलेट कर रहा है स्किल इंडिया कैंपेन ईच एंड एवरी सिटीजन ऑफ द कंट्री मस्ट हैव सम स्किल सो दैट दे कैन अर्न देयर लाइवलीहुड ये नहीं कि बीए कर लिया एमए कर लिया पीएचडी कर लिया और सड़क पे घूम रहे हैं नौकरी की तलाश में इन सर्च ऑफ जॉब डिस्पाइट हैविंग हायर क्वालिफिकेशन हायर डिग्रीज एंड डिप्लोमास you are in, not in a position to get a job. There are several reasons behind this scenario. Ek reason nahi hai, bahut sari reason hai. Lekin ek bada reason to yahi hai, bada reason zaroor hai, ki hum skill nahi hai. Degree humare paas hai, lekin hum skill nahi hai. Even kai, many a times it happens, it, it is observed that the person is having masters and PhD in English literature, and his English is not up to the mark. Having masters and PhD in Urdu or Hindi or any language and the capabilities and the capacities and the competencies is not at that level. And that's why he or she is not able to get a job. This is one reason, not the entire reason. There is also less job in the market. Another reason is there. We need to Fill the vacuum. A skill bit develop karna hai, job bit create karni hai. That's why a skill India campaign is going on in the country and in different you know, universities. Kaushal Kendra has been opened up to provide a skill education. Along with that, jobs are also being created. In the, there are efforts to, to create much more job either in the government sector or private sector. Anyway, this is not the topic of discussion. I was talking about the role of education and training in general. Now, think about these five important roles. A culturating role, combative role, liberating role, integrative role, and economic role. These five roles. And if you analyze these five roles, which education should play, then you will come to the conclusion that 
of course there are some issues some problems some lacunas some obstacles and education probably not playing these five roles in an in a effective manner in my understanding in my opinion i think that the policy makers especially the people the experts in the field of education who were engaged in drafting nep 2020 and who were really drafted nep 2020 has this kind of thought in mind that we need to bring innovation in our education we need to to mold our approach of education hame approach ko badalna padega hame apne pedagogy ko badalni padegi hame apni soch ko badalni padegi aur pure ke puri policy ko usi liye convert karna padega badalna padega modify karna padega aur isliye unhone kaha chapter 11 ke andar which is devoted to holistic and multi education the title which was you know coined is towards a more holistic and multidisciplinary education. To my understanding, use of words towards is very crucial. Towards a more holistic and multidisciplinary education. Towards. It means the policymakers had in mind that our education is, 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 is in principle is holistic. Suli Torpe, Siddhantik Torpe, Hamara Jo education hai. वो होलिस्टिक है और एजुकेशन हमेशा ही होलिस्टिक होता है लेकिन शायद हम उस लेवल पे नहीं हैं उस लेवल पे या उस तरीके से हम होलिस्टिक एजुकेशन नहीं दे पा रहे हैं जिस तरह से देना चाहिए और इसलिए टुवार्ड्स बोर्ड ऑफ टुवार्ड्स अ मोर होलिस्टिक एंड मल्टीडिसिप्लिनरी एजुकेशन एक ऐसे शिक्षा की ओर जो ज्यादा होलिस्टिक हो ज्यादा मल्टीडिसिप्लिनरी हो दिस वाज द फोकस एक ऐसी एजुकेशन जो इंटीग्रेटेड डेवलपमेंट प्रोवाइड करे ऑफ बॉडी माइंड एंड सोल ऑफ एनी इंडिविजुअल और एनी स्ट्रीम ऑफ स्टडी एनी प्रोग्राम ऑफ स्टडी एट एनी लेवल ऑफ एजुकेशन वी मस्ट हैव अ बैलेंस डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पर्सनालिटी बॉडी माइंड एंड सोल तीनों गांधी जी ने तभी कह दिया था 1937 के अंदर कॉन्फ्रेंस में डिफाइन उन्होंने डिफाइन ही किया था by education, I mean an all-round development of child and man, body, mind and soul. Tab ka to. Education tabhi mukammal hai, tabhi kamyab hai, tabhi effective hai, tabhi prahavashali hai, tabhi asar andaz hoga, jab hum insaan ke, bachchon ke, ladakon ke, ladakon ke, talib ilmu ke, sikshartiyon ke, body ka, mind ka, aur atma ka, soul ka, uske ruh ka, teeno ka, santulit, तौर पे डेवलप कर पाए उसको संतुलित विकास कर पाए मतवाजन तरक्की दे पाए उसको बैलेंस डेवलपमेंट हो पाए इफ यू स्टडी इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द सिनेरियो यू कैन फाइंड सो मेनी लैकुनाज इन दैट आर होल एजुकेशन सिस्टम द क्लासरूम टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस इज फोकस्ड अपॉन यू नो डेवलपमेंट ऑफ मेंटल एबिलिटीज वी आर फोकस्ड अपॉन दैट our classroom attraction is you know has more verbal communication than the hands hold and best activities hands on activities where students can do something some exercises some interaction some sort of games so the whole process is lopsided that's why NEP 2020 talks about we must provide holistic education. All aspects of development, physical, social, mental, intellectual, emotional, ethical, or moral, all aspects of development should be taken care of in a proper manner. And all of them must be developed in a balanced manner. Only then we can claim that we are having a good system of education, a holistic education. Developing all domains of personality. In education, we used to tell that there are three domains of personality of an individual. Three domains of personality. In psychology, in education, we used to discuss with our students and among the faculty members. 
cognitive domain of personality related to development of mind, mental abilities, thinking, reasoning, logic, thought process, etc., etc., the perception, etc. All those capabilities and competencies which are related to mind that comes under cognitive domain. Then come to the heart, affective domain. Development of feelings, emotions, relationship, spiritual development. How a healthy relationship can be developed among the classmates, among the teachers of a school, of a college, of a university, members of the society, members of the family, members of a group. That is affective part of personality. If you are not emotionally mature, if you are not emotionally intelligent, if you are not emotionally, you know, well adjusted person, then you can't have a sound relationship with fellow persons working with you in any organization. So to have a healthy relationship, to have a strong bond with fellow members of the society, of the community, you need and we need to have a very well developed affective domain of the personality. हमें कभी कुर्बानियां देनी की जरूरत पड़ सकती है और कभी बर्दाश्त करना भी पड़ सकता है दोनों आना चाहिए हमें दोनों आना चाहिए एट टाइम्स वी हैव टू सैक्रिफाइस एट टाइम्स वी हैव टू एब्सॉर्ब वी हैव टू टॉलरेट वी हैव टू एक्सेप्ट एक्सेप्ट समथिंग व्हिच वी वी जनरली डू यू 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 डू नॉट एक्सेप्ट बट एट टाइम्स यू आर सपोज्ड टू एक्सेप्ट बिकॉज़ यू prefer making healthy relations rather than something else that is very important affective domain then the third is a psychomotor domain of personality ability to work using your parts of body haathon ka istemal pairon ka istemal ungliyon ka istemal different part of the body ka istemal karke jo insaan kaam karta hai skill performance any kind of performance the skills used the skills required by teachers the skills required by doctors the skills required by engineers the skills required by lawyers the skills required by farmers the skills required by agriculture scientists the skills required by you know rickshaw puller the skills required by singers the skills required by a screen you know play writer etc etc in all walks of life in all spheres of life for each and every individual these three domains are very important cognitive affective and psychomotor all the three domains if these three have been developed are developed in a balanced manner then the individual is going to lead a good life and the society is going to have a good culture a cohesive relationship a strong bond but if our education fails to achieve that then of course there will be problem in the society in the community at large that's why any pedagogy focuses upon holistic development holistic education now very important thing the title of this particular slide is saying holistic education holistic learning and holistic development all these three seems to be synonymous but to my understanding they are they are a little different as a teacher all all our teacher here in, at this platform now holistic education is something which we can claim as a teacher we can claim as as an administrator of education the chairman of any board of education can claim that they are providing holistic education teacher can claim that they are providing holistic education principals and vice chancellors can claim that they are providing holistic education because we are giving opportunity to the learners to have their all these three domains cognitive affective psychomotor developed in a balanced manner so the university and the schools and colleges are claiming to provide holistic education 
but whether students are having holistic learning or not this is the most, most important concern provide to apne claim to kar rahe ho ki hum provide karte hain holistic education ka kya aapne nazar dauraya kya aapne dekha kya aapne assess kiya kya aapne analysis kiya ki holistic education jo aap provide kar rahe hain uski wajah se learning bachcho ki holistic ho rahi hai ya nahi ho rahi hai this is important concern अगर होलिस्टिक लर्निंग नहीं हो रही है तो इसका मतलब एक होलिस्टिक एजुकेशन में आपके खामी है चाहे वो प्रोवाइड करा रहे हो या नहीं करा रहे हो आप सो द पॉइंट फोकस ऑफ अटेंशन इज होलिस्टिक लर्निंग विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अर्जुन की निगाह मछली के आंख पे है मछली पे नहीं है तभी तीर का निशाना चलता है सीधा मछली की आंख पर जाता है टारगेट इज आई होलिस्टिक लर्निंग इज दिन टारगेट Providing holistic education is important, but not so important than holistic learning. So, as a teacher, as an educationist, as a mentor, our responsibility is to look at whether students are having holistic learning or not. Unke under holistic learning ho rahi nahi? Kya unke cognitive, affective, psychomotor, three or domain ka development balance me ho raha hai ya nahi ho raha hai? Ye dekhna zaruri hai. थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन को थेटिकली याद हो गया है या नहीं डिफाइन कर पा रहे या नहीं कर पा रहा है उसको कुछ प्रैक्टिकल करके दिखला पा रहा है नहीं कर पा रहा है और थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन के हिसाब से जब वो रोजमर्रे की जिंदगी में उसका इस्तेमाल कर पाता है कि नहीं कर पाता है और डेली लाइफ को जोड़ पाता है नहीं जोड़ पाता है थर्ड लॉफ मोशन से एक बच्चे से मैंने क्लास में पूछा कि थर्ड लॉफ मोशन पढ़े हुए साइंस की क्लास है यस पढ़ा है सर बी एड की क्लास पढ़ा है सबने पढ़ा है थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन इज ऑलवेज इक्वल एंड अपोजिट इधर लटा हुआ है फॉर्मूला लटा हुआ है डिफिनेशन जिंदगी में कहां कहां इस्तेमाल करते हो कभी इस्तेमाल किया थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन को लाइफ में दिस इज बेसिकली इंटीग्रेशन लिंकिंग वॉट एवर इज लर्न इन टू द डेली लाइफ अगर रियल लर्निंग होगी तो बताएगा कि हम चल नहीं सकते बगैर थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन को इस्तेमाल किए हुए वी कांट वॉक इवन ए सिंगल स्टेप विदाउट यूजिंग थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन बाकी बातें तो छोड़ दीजिए फ्रिक्शन तो कहां करते हो इस्तेमाल हैव यू थॉट अबाउट दिस फ्रिक्शन क्या होता है कैसे होता है how it works how it is useful or harmful etc etc so for each and every content in all you know programs of learning all programs of learning be it medical science or engineering or you know advocate or lawyer legal profession or any field media journalism any field of study we are supposed to target all the three domain for the development of the learners jab teen aur development hoga holistic learning hogi tabhi holistic development hoga holistic learning ke bagar holistic development ho nahi sakta this is the major focus of attention sabse buniyadi cheez hai sabse important cheez hai ye zaruri hai isko karne ke buniyadi cheez ab zahir si baat hai ki holistic एजुकेशन होलिस्टिक लर्निंग होलिस्टिक डेवलपमेंट प्रोवाइड करने के लिए अब सवाल है कि रास्ता क्या हो वट शुड बी द वे आउट हाउ इट कैन बी डन हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल कैसे किया जाए रास्ते बहुत सारे हैं पेडागोजी है बहुत सारी हकीकत में इन रियालिटी ये जो मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी एजुकेशन है is basically a route a road towards holistic education holistic education dene ke liye provide karne ke liye uska mahol banane ke liye holistic learning ke liye holistic development ke liye multidisciplinary hona padega and there is no other way majboori hai yahan majboori hai yahi ek rasta hai
combining all subjects together combining all learnings together combining all disciplines together in the process of learning teaching and learning of course depending upon their needs depending upon their possibilities and feasibilities depending upon their requirements but without combining two or more subjects together as per their requirement you can't provide effective teaching effective learning and ho and, and and that's why we can't provide holistic learning and holistic development and holistic education ho hi nahi sakta combining scientific vocational professional humanities soft skills like communication discussion and debate together all branches of creative human endeavors science math vocational program soft skills all these are required to be you know the part of the teaching learning process and that's why multidisciplinary education is a must and this is the reason that now we have another policy under nep 2020 multiple entry at the system and flexibility in higher education flexibility at all levels of education basically let them let the students study whatever they want to study jo vishay padhna chahte hain padhne do unko apne shauk ke hisab se jazbe ke hisab se there are always a alag mudda hai so multidisciplinary as i said is a way is a road map is a means to holistic learning holistic education for example in all school subjects in all university subjects you will not find a single subject which is totally independent and there is no need of any other subject to understand that subject that particular subject aisa ho hi nahi sakta you need many understanding of many subject many allied subjects allied disciplines we have this concept from ugc in phd program allied disciplines allied subjects there are some subjects which are more related to one another there are subjects which are less related to one another there are there are subjects which are not having any relation but you can't find any subject which has no any relation with any other subject you will not find sab ko zarurat hai and to be more effective in teaching learning to be more holistic in providing learning to the learners and providing holistic development to learners teachers are required also to have multidisciplinary approach of teaching learning multidisciplinary approach and yet this has been you know age old process of teaching learning हमने इस पर तवज्जो नहीं दिया हमने इस पर ध्यान नहीं दिया देखा जाए तो मल्टी डिसिप्लिन तो शुरू से ही है एजुकेशन का इंटीग्रल पार्ट है मल्टी डिसिप्लिन होना हमने इस पर तवज्जो दी नहीं थी तवज्जो अब देने की जरूरत है मेरे ख्याल में आई थिंक सम बडीज माइक हैज बीन अनम्यूटेड प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक प्लीज मीक म्यूट योर माइक इश्तियाक अहमद इश्तियाक अहमद इज अवेलेबल प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक इश्तियाक अहमद okay so take another example suppose a history teacher is teaching in his history class about excavation at mohenjodaro civilization or harappa civilization or egyptian civilization any civilization and he tells during his lecture that during excavation a fossil was found and it was found that the fossil age is 2000 years old 2000 saal purana hai ek jivasham mila ek fossil mila jo 2000 saal purana hai ab class mein ek bachcha haan to laga ke kehta hai sir ye kaise pata chala ki ye 2000 saal purana hai now this is a challenge for a history teacher ek to rasta ye ki ha wo sir bheja gaya tha science lab mein aur lab se analysis ho ke ye nikal ke aaya ki ye 2000 saal purana hai this is one very basic answer but this is not a good answer this is not 
an answer from a teacher who is multidisciplinary. No. इस हिस्ट्री के टीचर को इतना जरूर पता होना चाहिए कि रेडियो कार्बन डेटिंग क्या होती है फॉसिल्स की एज कैसे निकाली जाती है फॉसिल्स के अंदर कार्बन के दो आइसोटोप्स होते हैं C12 ट्वेल्व एंड सी और जब वो जिंदे जिंदा होता है लिविंग फॉर्म में होता है तो C12 ट्वेल्व सी दोनों की क्वांटिटी बराबर होती है फिर उसका हाफ लाइफ पीरियड होता है जो सी ट्वेल्व होता है जो रेडियो एक्टिव कार्बन है पूरा प्रोसेस है रेडियो कार्बन डेटिंग इज बेस्ड ऑन ए प्रोसेस रेडियो एक्टिविटी एंड हाफ लाइफ पीरियड तो दैट हिस्ट्री टीचर इफ एक्सप्लेन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस इन द क्लासरूम दिस विल बी ए काइंड ऑफ मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी टीचिंग एंड मल्टी डिसिप्लिन लर्निंग एक हिस्ट्री का टीचर केमिस्ट्री के एक एस्पेक्ट को एक्सप्लेन कर रहा है और उसकी मदद से हिस्ट्री का टॉपिक समझा रहा है बच्चे को अगर आप नहीं बता पाए उस बच्चे के सवाल को जवाब नहीं दे पाए सेटिस्फाई नहीं कर पाए तो अल्टीमेटली उस बच्चे का इंटरेस्ट या तो हिस्ट्री से खत्म होगा केमिस्ट्री से खत्म होगा और टीचर का रेपो होगा सो इन ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स ए बायोलॉजी टीचर कैन नॉट टीच डाइजेशन ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट डाइजेशन ऑफ फैट्स डाइजेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन्स इन हिज और क्लास विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग बायो केमिस्ट्री इन ए गुड वे केमिस्ट्री आपको एक्टिव जाननी चाहिए जरूरी है बायोलॉजी एंड केमिस्ट्री हैज अ वेरी वेरी यू नो स्ट्रॉन्ग बॉन्ड फिजिक्स एंड मैथ हैज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग बॉन्ड इवन म्यूजिक इज रिलेटेड टू केमिस्ट्री म्यूजिक कैन बी यूज टू टीच केमिस्ट्री म्यूजिक कैन बी यूज टू टीच साम फिजिक्स ऑल्सो सो यू विल फाइंड दैट ऑल दी सब्जेक्ट विच विच आर टॉट एट different levels of schooling and education from school to higher education we have the opportunity to to integrate you know different disciplines together to have effective teaching and learning tabhi to puri ek mukammal samajh ban payegi logo mukammal samajh jise kehte hain banana science or scientific discovery scientific invention kis liye why if you want to bring some innovation in the field of science you must be able to understand the needs of the society society ko kya zarurat hai society ke needs ko samajh kar ke science ki taraf aage badh pehle message ko bhejne ke liye ek jagah se dusri jagah parindon ka istemal janwaron ka istemal hota tha उसके पहले लोग खुद जाते थे मैसेंजर बन करके लेटर लेकर के चिट्ठी लेकर के मैसेज लेकर के वन पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री टू अनदर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री वन पार्ट ऑफ द स्टेट टू अनदर पार्ट ऑफ द स्टेट फिर एनिमल्स का इस्तेमाल शुरू हुआ बर्ड्स का इस्तेमाल शुरू हुआ फिर पोस्टल सिस्टम शुरू होगा फिर टेलीफोन का सिस्टम शुरू हुआ तार कट जाते थे भाई लाइन कट गया प्रोसेस सो सोसाइटी को जरूरत हुई भाई ऐसा कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम लाओ जिसमें तार नहीं हो वायरलेस होना चाहिए तो वायरलेस आ गया पेजर आया मोबाइल आया स्मार्टफोन आया सो दीज ऑल डेवलपमेंट्स आर रिलेटेड टू द ह्यूमन नीड्स एंड ह्यूमन वांट्स ह्यूमन एस्पिरेशंस ह्यूमन रिक्वायरमेंट्स इसलिए अब ये कहा जा रहा है एनईपी ट्वेंटी कहता है कि आई के अंदर भी सिर्फ साइंस मत पढ़ाओ आई के अंदर भी यू नीड टू टीच फिलोसफी ऑफ लाइफ You need to teach sociology. You need to teach psychology, so that the society can understand, the society's needs can understand, and then science can integrate with it, and then science can move forward. This is what came out of the STEM and STEAM curriculum: science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. First, it was this. Educational approaches that integrate the humanities and arts with science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I have shown that I have consistently showed. positive learning outcomes increased creativity and innovation increased critical thinking among the learners and higher order thinking skills problem solving skills more in depth learning mastery of curricular across fields this has been proved by applying stem and stem curriculum so if you integrate and if we integrate 
if we provide multidisciplinary education then there is a chance of more apt you know development on the part of the young generation having all the potentialities and all the competencies which is required in the 21st century it develop all capacities and learners this holistic and multidisciplinary education all capacities and learners. develop well rounded individuals jo baat hum shuru se karte aa rahe required to lead the country into the 21st century and the fourth industrial revolution wo sara ka sara so many part of the country and many boards of education uh, have already started you know developing and implementing holistic as well as multidisciplinary education in their you know boards in their universities you know we have already discussed about this you know case of iits and iims curriculum programs have already discussed but there is some apprehension there are some 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 questions which are raised by experts from the field of education which are raised by uh, specialists from different area of study that whether this holistic and multidisciplinary education especially multidisciplinary education this multi multiple entry exit system and this flexibility of education whether it is going to uh, going to hamper the uh, prospects of specialization or not this is a major question ye apprehension hai bahut sare log sawal karte hain hai na but to my understanding there is a provision even in multiple entry exit system and four year integrated graduation program hai na there is there is a provision uh, of uh, uh, providing a specialization as well so if you want to uh, specialize in a particular area of study which is used to be taken as a major subject in graduation you can specialize also so it depends upon the learner whether they want to specialize in a particular area of study and whether they want to 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 to, to go ahead with purely multidisciplinary approach and want to study different subjects at the same time as per their interest and their career aspirations so it is up to the learners not in the hands of the you know, universities and colleges of education colleges of any you know street this is one thing so if you, now if we read this para 11.3 i have already discussed everything now whatever this paragraph of any p2020 talks about now just just i'm going to read it now para 11.3 of any p says a holistic and multidisciplinary education would aim to develop all capacities of human beings intellectual aesthetic social physical emotional and moral in an integrated manner such an education with will help develop well rounded individuals that possess critical 21st century capacities in fields across the arts humanities languages sciences social sciences and professional technical and vocational fields an ethic of social engagement soft skills such as communication discussion and debate and rigorous specialization in a chosen field or fields such a holistic education shall be in the long term the approach of all undergraduate programs including those in professional technical and vocational disciplines as per this paragraph this totally taken from nep 2020 chapter 11 para 11.3 this has been almost put on to, onto the ground in the form of four year integrated program of education and four year undergraduate programs which is being implemented by many universities in the country so this is uh, about holistic and multidisciplinary education now the third aspect of you know sub uh, this particular topic the third sub theme human values ethics personality development and environmental education i have already talked about this under affective domain of personality development so that domain affective domain covers these particular aspect and the policy itself you know mentions some of the important values some of the important you know ethics and personality uh, aspects which are required to be focused in our education system our curriculum and its transaction it's it 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 uh, it it writes the silent values for life the purushar it talks about purushar dharm arth kaam and moksha these four very important values taken from you know uh, ancient literature then truth commitment honesty and integrity forgiveness and love emotions empathy and ability to sacrifice 
these are very important values which cannot be developed just by reading it out in the class and just by dictating to the learners we require to develop certain environment in the in our institution through which we can make them absorb these values and these ethics by the learners again life skills rational thought courage and re resilience simplicity tolerance care and unity inclusiveness the concept of vasudev kutumbakam the whole world is one family one of the most important you know value in you know our indian constitution and our nep 2020 the focal point we have been claiming that india provides a, a kind of culture a kind of environment we we accept the uh, foreigners as a as our guest and we are uh, you know having our two hands spreading to welcome everyone from different part of the world and we consider the whole world as one family this is a beautiful thinking beautiful idea but we need to practice that as a person as an individual each and every citizen of the country each and every politician of the country each and every doctors engineers professional teachers need to practice that merely claiming vasudev kutumbakam will not work at all whatever we claim we need to practice that we need to follow that this sort of environment is required pura vishwagar family ki tarah hai to hum hindustan ke andar hi ya 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 different part of the country kyon aapas mein lad raha hai russia kyon ukraine ke sath lad raha hai israel filistin ke sath kyon aise ladai chal rahi hai fir manus hamare manipur ke log kyon isko follow nahi kar pa rahe hain kaise hum kehte hain parivar ki tarah जब हम परिवार एक मुल्क के अंदर एक स्टेट के अंदर एक रीजन के अंदर एक क्षेत्र के अंदर मिलजुल करके मोहब्बत के साथ जैसे अपने घर में फैमिली में रहते हैं नहीं रह सकते तो फिर हाउ कैन वी क्लेम दैट सो फॉर क्लेमिंग वासुदेव कुटुंबकम वी आर द फॉलोअर ऑफ वासुदेव कुटुंबकम वी आर द प्रैक्टिसनर ऑफ वासुदेव कुटुंबकम वी नीड टू प्रैक्टिस देम एंड इफ यू प्रैक्टिस देम इंडिया विल बिकम a very peaceful peaceful existing a very you know very cohesive country and will be an example to the world as in the case of ancient time that requires social values duties and responsibilities peace and non violence scientific temper qualities of a good citizen all these things are required so there are so many things under this particular heading then under ethics and the environmental and ecological balance we need to develop all these capabilities in our young generation to have a sustainable society sustainable environment sustainable culture and sustainable development at large iske liye zaruri hai ki hum puri tarike se holistic and multidisciplinary approach ko istemal karke hum waisi education bachcho ko de paaye mare khayal mein now we have almost 20 minutes left with us and uh, i think it will be good to listen to you all your your experiences your ideas your questions and your personal experiences will be uh, good to listen to all of uh, by all of us because just uh, uh, listening and just speaking by one individual is not holistic learning and holistic education uh, uh. so if uh, we will be i will be continuing for Uh, for the entire duration it will be injustice on my part so i am going to close down i am going to unshare my slide and i am going to open this house for discussion and deliberation now the house is open for your uh, you know sharing your ideas your experiences your thoughts and your question as well so thank you so much and now the house is open for questions and your experiences sharing of ideas thank you स्पेशल के पी साहब जी नाउ द हाउस इज ओपन फॉर डिस्कशन फॉर क्वेश्चन फॉर एक्सपीरियंस शेयरिंग 
okay. for sharing of ideas. So, dear participants, as uh, we all uh, uh, listen to Professor Asima sir, so you are free to put up any questions or share your or experience or comments. You are free. As you have, I have already explained you the kind of his CV itself. He took a volumes about his expertise. More than 55 pages of CV. I had to just uh, summarize in uh, two minutes, considering the time limit. Otherwise, that much expertise he's having in the teacher education field and also his expertise in the field in the NEP. So, whatever topic he shared right now, and also otherwise, also you may feel free to ask uh, anything related to uh, NEP and whatever you feel like. You are free to ask questions, you are free to share your ideas, you are free to have comments on NEP 2020. So whatever you want to discuss, you want to share, you can discuss. What is your own opinion about holistic and multidisciplinary education? So please come forward. Yes, sir. Uh, so I am a teacher. Or the way we are doing, actually, there is a, someone shall initiate, then there will be lots of questions. That's so all the sessions we were having lots of questions, and we have I have to interfere in between, intervene in between to stop them. And uh, that happens once once someone starts, then there will be kind of questions. Ah, yeah, this is this is generally this happens. Ah, uh, this happens generally. here also. Uh, around 63 candidates are part, uh, what is the participants are there in this uh, session? They are there. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Alaykum, wa alaikum salam. Yes, Sadaf Jafri. Ah, yes. yes, sir. Sir, uh, when it comes to multidisciplinary education, uh, what I feel is uh, as if it is going to make people like uh, jack of all trades and master of none. What is your opinion about it, sir? I have already pointed out in a discussion that there is a, there is opportunity of going to a specialization. If any learner is, is trying to develop his or her specialization in a particular area, they can choose that way only. So when you uh, when somebody gets admission in BA program, four-year BA program, there is major, first major subject, second major subject, then there are minor subjects. And if you go with that particular major, all the three years or four years of graduation, then you go with the same subject in the master's level, then of course you will be specialized. But NEP gives an opportunity that if you don't want to specialize and you want to have test of different subjects and you want to change your subjects upon, as per your you know you know needs and interest because many a times during the course you you feel that you should not study history because history uh, history uh, uh, do not you, you you don't like history although you have um, you have studied in first year but in second year you want to change because you don't like history then you can change you, you, you like to change the first year subject like political science or Urdu or India or whatever. So you, now this NEP gives you opportunity to change your, you know, minor subject, even major also you can change. So if you don't want to be specialized in a particular area, then you can go ahead with your own interest. But if you want to specialize in a particular area, NEP do not stop you. NEP gives you that also. You can go, the, go ahead with a particular subject of a study at different levels in different years going with the same subject and in this way you can specialize also so nep 2020 opens doors for a specialization as well as jack of all trades both the ways okay dr sadab jab uh, yes sir sir in case you are uh, like uh, through these sensitizations pro uh, sensitization programs you are sensitizing faculty members but when it uh, it come to learners the students who are taking admission in higher education institutes i find that still they people are not having much idea about specialization and uh, having a clear goal Still, they are like confused when they enter a uh, higher education level. So if the government is providing them more opportunity to keep on changing their subjects as per their needs, don't you think it is going to make them more confused? No, there, NEP also talks about the role of, you know, role of higher education institution in this regard. 
and role of education school education in, the, in in this regard because you know in every university there is some sort of you know guidance and counseling centers opened by different universities and different colleges and this is the role of the colleges and universities to sensitize learners to make them understand to guide them to support them to answer their queries so during admission you know months different universities has different platforms where in students can ask questions and resolve their queries the role of teachers become very important the role of universities and colleges become very important the role of higher higher secondary schools is very important when their students are passing class 12 and they are going to enter into college then school teachers and the counselors and guidance workers in the school setup need to counsel learners wahi par unko aap counsel kar dijiye wahi par unko guide kar dijiye net ke provision aap unko wahi pe bata dijiye और फिर जब यूनिवर्सिटी में कॉलेज में आएंगे वहां उनको प्लेटफॉर्म मिलेगा तो अगर इस इफ द यूनिवर्सिटीज इफ द इफ द सिस्टम स्कूल सिस्टम और कॉलेज सिस्टम हायर एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज प्रोवाइडिंग हैंड होल्डिंग यू नो अपॉर्चुनिटीज इफ दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग गाइडेंस एंड काउंसलिंग सर्विसेज टू द लर्नर देन आई थिंक देयर इज नो सच इश्यूज टू बी फेस्ड बाय द लर्नर्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट uh so one concern sir uh, i am having most of this uh, colleges and uh, what is uh, universities also fine most of the yeah. colleges do not have this actually character of a multidisciplinary they don't have various departments and uh, where they can accommodate so this is a real challenging question sir. so what do you think actually how will be able to manage this kind of what is a uh, the multi students may be willing looking for kind of i i am joining for history and also i also want to take sociology or some physics or biology some other papers but there is no other uh, departments at all to what extent the inter uh, institutional collaboration is possible and uh, so obviously there is uh, no a provision for uh, academic of uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. transfer yeah. of bank we can take this and that but still i'm um, just uh, having that kind of uh, concern how it, to what extent it will be possible to have uh, to uh, be in uh, a real sense of implementation Ah, uh, there are two, three important things in in this regard. Uh, and number one is that, uh, as you are saying very, very rightly, you are saying that there are many colleges in the country which are specialized in nature. In Delhi, there are there are Sri Ram College of Commerce. There are there are many colleges of you know science only. I have myself graduated from C M Science College, Darbhanga, Bihar. There are there are like Patna Science College. So there are many colleges which are highly specialized colleges. Uh, so in that case, now how they will provide multidisciplinary education? So NEP NEP talks about and advocates all the education institutions to convert to become multidisciplinary institution of higher education. This is one thing. This is one thing. So all the colleges are required to be converted to multidisciplinary education of higher education hub of higher institution of learning. It means those colleges who do not have science stream or art stream or commerce stream they are required to open up that stream in their colleges universities provided they, they, there is a scope there is there is a space uh, uh, available number one so, but of course financial constraint is there another very important issue whether government will provide so much of finance because the space is required infrastructure is required human human uh, human for human power is required teachers and non teaching staff is required so these requirements will be there and if the government can expend more on education then of course the, uh, the uh, all the uh, specialized colleges of institution or, or uh, uh, may be converted to institution of multidisciplinary learning this is one thing now the second important thing that you have also pointed out that in case in case the college is not multidisciplinary and we do not have some particular discipline to provide to their students then you can stick then you can all tell your learners who so ever coming for admission that these subjects are available in this college you can opt only out of these subjects these disciplines which are available in this college so this is another second step then the third important is that you have also pointed out that academic bank of credit ugc has now academic bank of credit so each and every student who is getting admission in you know colleges they are having one account number with ugc the academic bank of credit now if you are admitted in in some you know college in hyderabad and and you are uh, interested to study some particular subject like philosophy or sociology or research methodology 
depending upon levels and class, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that is that, despite availability in your own college, the learner is not interested to study that particular subject in that college. He or she is interested to study that particular subject from other college of the same, you know, CT or maybe from other department, other colleges from the same university and maybe from other university, maybe in the, all these three cases would be there. So now the learner is free to study that particular subject, not from the college where he has got admission, but from any other college of the country. And through online mode, through blended mode, through any other mode, whatever is possible, that particular college will take examination and marks will be sent to the UGC, that is Academic Bank of Credit, ABC. So automatically, his total credit will be updated in his account with the UGC. And when the total credit of 80 credits is, you know, achieved, master's degree available for two years course, similarly. So this, these are different avenues. These are different opportunities. We need to, you know, make a students aware. And we need to make ourselves as a university teacher also aware about these, you know, different schemes and different programs and different provisions. Only then we can be a, enjoy the fruits of these schemes. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, any, anybody else? Any other question? And NEP is also talking about standalone institutions shall not be there by 2030. So this may be one aspect that uh, you know, all these uh, you know, standalone colleges will have to transform themselves. Uh, and they have given up to 2030, I think, the time given. Yes, yes uh, absolutely. 2030. 2030 is the deadline, especially for, you know, especially for BA colleges. colleges. Stand around BA college, not for other colleges. Okay. You know, okay. Not for science stream or commerce stream or humanities extreme for B.A. colleges especially and yeah. CT and UGC has given by 2030 all standard on B.A. BA colleges will have to be converted to multi okay. colleges of learning. It means that they are supposed to open up, you know, science, arts and humanities, uh, other streams of study. And I think that most of these colleges will be converted. They will convert them. Anna, maybe. Or, or they will have to perish. They will have to perish. Anything else? Your participants, uh, you may feel free. Otherwise, we'll be fine. Uh, now it is uh, 10 more minutes, five minutes maximum. One or two questions might be there. Yes, yes, anybody. But don't you think that there will be a problem, for instance, a student, he started his degree first year and second, after second or third year, he's got, okay, I should, I joined for political science, now I had to shift to sociology, for instance, and sociology was his minor. Now to convert that major into a minor into major, a person, a student is requested to have, required to have this many credits. So, is it will, be, will it be feasible that way to convert? Because no, the time left is only three or around five semesters remaining. But in the five semester, whether the, the student will be able to, you know, uh, complete the remaining uh, credit requirements. Thank so you first, uh, fine. first or second year, that will be possible. In the third year, I think from that, uh, the no, number of semesters are remaining is will limited, and also the credit that he can accure will be limited. So that way he'll have to decide by himself by first or second third semester by, isn't it? Oh, actually, this is totally a flexible system of education, total flexible. Okay. So there is no any uh, bounding uh, uh, in changing their, you know, major or minor. You can change. As I said in, in, uh, in, in today, responding to Dr. Sadaf Jafri, that if you want to make you specialize in a particular area of study, then of course you will continue with the same major that you have chosen in the first year. But if you are not interested to specialize in that particular area, then the meaning of major and minor has gone. Now you will choose as per your requirement, as per your interest. Our interest is always changing. Your okay. requirement is always changing. 
कई बार ऐसा होता है कि हमको आज पता चला कि ये सब्जेक्ट बहुत बहुत काम का यार इसमें बहुत जॉब है इसमें बहुत अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैं लेट एस है इसको हम पढ़ते हैं सो नाउ इन अकेडमिक बैंक ऑफ क्रेडिट सब्जेक्ट इज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट क्रेडिट इज इम्पोर्टेंट ट्वेंटी ईयर ट्वेंटी क्रेडिट पर सेमेस्टर इज द स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट फॉर अ टू ईयर प्रोग्राम पी जी प्रोग्राम एट्टी क्रेडिट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वेन एवर यू कंप्लीट योर एट्टी क्रेडिट whether it is in two years or in is a two and a half years that is seven semester or eight semester you know or nine semester your degree will be awarded so credit has become more important this is very important. okay anything else so i think now we should Uh, close down because there are no questions and think maybe people are not okay uh, available there also so <laughs> i don't know so much uh, why today there is not much questions either you are uh, you are i think uh, it is just because you are so clear about it and <laughs> what the participants have understood what uh, you want to convey uh. anyone else if no questions i am just uh, we are going to close it now uh so thank you sir uh, thank you professor uh, uh, jasim ahmed sir uh, very nice to meet you here on this platform uh, inshallah we will be meeting uh, offline also i am from sure, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, i i would like to see you here in the campus also it's a part inshallah. of main campus yeah me as three campuses only is in malapuram kerala yes. and the other yes. one is About in, uh, in one of the program, probably uh, we have interacted in some uh, of your program. I was there, I think yes. one and a half year before. Ah, uh, it was uh, conducted by Department of Education. That yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yes, I, yes. Ah, uh, Basir, ah, uh, Doctor Basir Poli, that time. Uh, I, I, I recall that, and I recall that. Ah, uh, yes, yes, thank you. Yes. So, okay. Ah, okay. uh, next time we'll plan some uh, some programs that are offline here. Inshallah. Uh, on behalf of everyone present, I extend our uh, heartfelt thanks for your outstanding session today on holistic and multidisciplinary education. Your profound insight, engaging delivery, enriched our understanding of NEP. The way you also answered the, some of the questions, it was very re relevant. And the transformative potential, what is the transformative potential of NEP 2022? Also, you have all shared here. So your extensive knowledge and expertise in education illuminated. the complexities and possibilities of creating a more integrated learning environment the depth of your experience and the clarity with which you convey the concept were truly inspiring we deeply appreciate the time and effort you invested in making this session a success your contribution will undoubtedly have a lasting impact on our approach to education uh, thank you once again for your invaluable contributions and your time and uh, accepting or engaging us for this uh, yeah or this seventh day of this uh any people thank you okay thank you thank you faisal sir thank you so much i think uh, mohammad bashir is also here kya yes, yes sir yes sir i am here i am here sir oh uh, how are you dr bashir alhamdulillah fine sir i was driving that's okay. why i couldn't i couldn't uh, interact oh, okay. pro properly okay okay so everything was is fine na okay yes yes fine sir fine fine okay thank you thank you goodbye thank you, thank you.